New at 11, just two barns to expand business and improve the quality of life. But for whom? Well, these barns are on the border of Gross Point Park and Detroit, and they block Detroit traffic. It's at the corner of Alter and Kerchival. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner is live in the area. Jim, what are people saying about this on both sides? A lot of people are speaking out tonight at the Park City Council meeting. You're going to see that in a minute. A political activist says these two barns blocking Detroiters are no more than one of these, a barricade. And the response from Detroiters should be a boycott of the park and the businesses here. My concern is if they get away with it here, Dearborn, Radford, Harper Woods. Two big yellow barns, one big red flag. That's because they sit right on the border of the two cities, a tale of two cities, one affluent, one in bankruptcy, with more than its share of economic trouble. It brought out plenty at tonight's Park City Council meeting. The farmer's market, I'm wholly in support of that, but my heart sunk when I saw that because it is the wrong message for my two young children and the others here. What is happening is appalling. It sends a negative message. It sends a message of racism. And Gross Point Park deserves better than that. City officials were criticized for not getting enough public input on the design and on the perception. City manager says he gets it, and this is a work in progress. And a lot of it, I believe, is the perception of what's being built. A, you have to bear in mind it is temporary. Ideally, we would like a permanent market there. Now, the farmer's market is only open on Saturdays. It runs through December. The city manager says look for some changes in the months ahead. The big question is, will these barns or something like them still stand in the way of Detroiters driving in? I'm live tonight in Gross Point Park. Jim Kirstner, 7 Action News.